going on beautiful people as you can see we're out here today in the beautiful forest and uh, now is a better time than ever to talk to you guys about an NFT collection I just recently released uh, literally just yesterday as well as uh, some ideas I have about a potential meetup uh, over here in New York so uh, let's get into the first one NFTs um, and we'll talk about the New York one later so as I mentioned, I just released an NFT collection. I'll put up some images over there, over here next to me, I guess, of some of them. Uh, and essentially, the whole idea, and I'll, I'll kind of get into why I made it, how I made it, all that stuff. But the whole idea behind it is to essentially support your boy. I'm kind of looking at it as a way to, as like an alternative to Patreon, essentially. Uh, I think that's the best way to put it. Where it's like, I, I never liked the idea of people paying me money to do what I do. Uh, just because I feel like I'm like beholden to them or something like that. I don't know I, I, I never like the idea of relying on like a specific set of people for money I like decentralizing the, the way I get I get paid I guess you could say um, So along with that and the fact that NFTs are kind of I've kind of already blown over the hype has died down uh, And I'll, you know obviously the fact that they're there they have something to do with blockchain. I'm like yo, why don't I just make like a like a, like a very small collection of NFTs um, you know, n not, not really like a crazy one. Like I'm no designer. Like I literally had to learn how to use Adobe Illustrator the other day to, to do these stuff, to do these things. And it took me a lot more time to learn how to use it and, you know, export all the files and stuff than I thought it would. Uh, but you know, I just thought that I had kind of come up with a little NFT collection and use it as a way for me to, God, it's many spider webs, bro. <laughs> use it as a way for me to kind of uh, raise a little capital nothing crazy. I think if, if all of them were to sell I'd probably make about like 1.5 ETH or something like that um, And you know, what are the chances of that happening? Um, nothing crazy But at the same time the way I think the way I see it is like You know if the, someone does want to kind of contribute to your boy to what I do They can go ahead and instead of just tipping me or giving me money uh, They can go ahead and just buy an NFT and in return you know, they feel good about giving me money, I guess. But also, they get a cool little NFT in their wallet. You know, a cool little image that I made. I made it all by myself, by the way. I didn't... No one did it for me. I didn't pay nobody to do it. I made those shits, bro. It took, it took a little while, but <laughs> I was able to do it. It was a lot harder than you think. <laughs> um, <laughs> shout out to my girlfriend for supervising me while I was doing it, though. So, she, you know, she helped a lot. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so... Yeah, again, very quick NFT collection, bro. Um, I made a, There's like 147 of them. Seven different colors, a bunch of different designs and trims on them, on the shirts. And um, I don't plan on making any more. Like, like this is kind of like a, uh, I, guess, I guess you could say it's kind of like a uh, like a test run, more or less. Um, when I say I don't plan on making any more, like, I'm not going to make any more of those specific ones. Like, they're all going to be, like, one of one type thing. Because uh, it's in scarcity drives demand at the end of the day. And, you know, um, not that I want people to start reselling them. But, you know, y'all can do whatever the fuck you want at the end of the day. Uh, I, I just want people to know when they go into buying one of them that they're, they're, they're supporting me when they buy it. Like, it's not like, oh, shit, I'm going to buy it because Hunter's going to do something uh, for it to go up in price. Nah. Like, <laughs> I would prefer you to see it as, like, a more, more or less of, like, um, just, like, a little like a donation or a tip or some shit. And in return, you get something cool. So that, that, that was my whole idea behind this little project. Uh, I, if, if they all do end up selling out at some point, um, I may release some, like, more different versions of them, but, like, as far as re replicating any of the ones that exist currently, no. Like, that's it. Uh, someone was asking me what the rarest one is, and uh, on the live stream yesterday, so uh, today I'm pretty much mirroring li yesterday's live stream, more or less. But they were like, yo, well, you know, what's the most, the rarest one? I'm like, well, none of them are rare, per se, they're all one of one, so, uh, I guess, I guess you could say, if anything... I think I'm gonna keep one or two of them for myself and my, uh, me a friend or my girlfriend. Uh, that's the orange rainbow. I love the, the color orange, obviously, and uh, the rainbow. I thought it kind of cool. But nonetheless, that's my whole spiel in the NFT collection. I'll leave the link below if you guys want to check it out. Again, if you do want to support your boy, go for it. If not, it's all cool. Um, not trying to, you know. I think that that was my that was my big, uh, like kind of. I don't know. That was that was the weirdest thing. I I, I I've, I've never felt this way in a while, cause like, I feel like a lot of people kind of see people you know who make NFT collections now, as kind of like a way to like you know for like money grabbing and shit like that. Uh, which it is what it is at the end of the day. It's true, right? I mean, why why wouldn't you make an like, an NFT collection much like my own? 
uh, unless you're trying to get some money out of it, which is true. Um, but I just kind of wanted to do it in a way that was a lot more wholesome than most. So I think at, at the prices they are right now, they're like 25 bucks. So I think that's pretty adequately priced. Um, nonetheless, I'll stop pitching you on my, uh, my NFTs. Again, I appreciate you all for all the support on the live stream when I was speaking about them. Um, again, you know, you know, I'm still kind of getting used to uh, doing different things right now. You know, like I'm trying to I'm trying to try new things, and especially when you're running your own business, which is what this is at the end of the day. Um, I love content creation, but at the end of the day, we can't be blind. Like this is a business because uh, this I don't have, this is my job essentially. I got to find different ways of like income, revenue, whatever you want to call it. Um, and that's just another way to kind of support me. That's it. So we'll see what else I can come up with uh, over time. Um, I don't want to resort to just fucking selling NFTs because <laughs> they're not, they aren't really worth anything. Uh, again, that's just a way to support your boy. That's it. Like if you're going to tip, don't tip me. Just buy that shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? Anyways, that's my whole spiel with the NFTs. Um, the other thing I, was, I wanted to talk about was New York City meetups. Uh, so in terms of meeting up in New York, you know, <clears throat> I should preface this with saying that the other day I went to the Bitcoin Pizza Day. Um, I made a video about it. And essentially it was just Anthony Pompliano and a bunch of other co cohorts of his, I guess. Uh, they pretty much had like a little event where a bunch of people came, they gave away free pizza, and anyone who was interested in Bitcoin would essentially come through and just talk about it. One thing I noticed was that a lot of people, or I shouldn't say a lot of people, but one thing I noticed is that um, I think I ended, up, I ended up speaking to a couple of people there, really cool people, about crypto, Bitcoin, whatever. Um, but I think a good amount of them <laughs> probably wanted to talk about more than just Bitcoin. And I'm not sure how, how they kind of treat that over there on in Anthony Pompliano's camp. Um, so what I wanted to do is make my own event. Uh, <laughs> the logistics of it are going to have to be worked out. But I wanted to make my own event around altcoins, cryptocurrencies in general, just the entire space. Like, I wanted to make an event essentially where... You know, you could come in liking fucking uh, the Binance Smart Chain, saying you hate Ethereum, and we could just come through and chop it up. You know what I mean? Like, like, like I, I want to kind of host an event for cryptocurrency lovers in general. You know what I mean? Uh, so I'm looking to potentially do that. Um, most likely, either in the same place, Washington Square Park, maybe in Central Park. Uh, I'm not sure how we're going to organize it and stuff like that. I, I Honestly, I'm not sure, like, how people really do it. I don't know if they just show up there or what, but I'm, I, and I, I'm, I'm going to have to make it a legit, legitimate thing. So I would have to go on like the meetups app or something like that, put it on there and kind of do it that way. Because I'm not going to lie to y'all, man. Like, I, like me, meeting up with people in person is something I love doing. Like I, I love the idea of meeting new people, talking to new people and just, you know, like seeing where their head is at in terms of crypto and all that stuff. So that's kind of why I want to do a meetup because there are none around me. I, I should have said I should have said that uh, first. That's the reason why I want to do my own because there's none around me. Like I was looking on my phone the other day and I couldn't find one. Literally nowhere. So I think the only one is like a class. But I know there are a lot of people in New York that know about crypto already and want to talk about it. So this event would probably be for people who just want to come chop it up about crypto, their favorite coins, why they don't like certain coins. It's like an open space to just chill, man, and hang out because I feel that. Uh, I feel like that's just one thing that, you know, when you, when you have a common interest, when, you, when, you, when you're, like, engulfed in something so much, like, the best thing for you to do <coughs> is not only to get involved in that activity yourself, you know, like, doing DeFi yourself, um, learning crypto, about uh, you know, on your own, but the best thing to do is talk to other people about it, bro. Talk to other people with the same interest, and I, uh, I love doing that. And I've, t I've spoken to a couple of you guys already on Twitter, on... Um, Gmail on whatever, um, I even even some of you guys on Zoom as well, and I think it's so cool, bro. Like I, I love the idea of being able to communicate with different people around the world. Um, so why not have a little thing right over here in New York City? So I'm gonna end up doing that, I think, at some point. Um, I just gotta plan the logistics. Like I don't want to make it, I don't want to make an event happen and then not have any refreshments or food or anything like that like I, I, I would like to do that you know what I mean I just don't know like I'll be honest with you it's really just the money at that point because <laughs> I don't know if I can pay for all that but we'll see we'll see if we can get something going um 
And, and obviously I'll let you guys know if that happens. Comment down below, what are you guys currently doing? Um, is it DeFi, is it NFTs? And if it's one of them, which one are you doing? Um, I know I think I've been kind of saying that a lot recently in my videos, but like you guys commenting down below is actually really helpful, not only for me, but for anyone else who watches. You know, a lot of the a lot of the products that I get into is because of what you guys say in the comments, uh, you know, me doing research on them. So, and you guys know I respond to literally every comment, uh, pretty much. So, comment down below what you guys are currently doing, bro. Maybe, maybe uh, y'all put me on onto something, <laughs> and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll take it from there, man. We'll take it from there. I appreciate you guys for watching as usual, and uh, I'll catch you on the next one. All right. Peace out.